Hello everyone and welcome back to Halo 4 where this time we'll be looking at the terminals for Halo 4 in the first of two bonus videos that we'll be doing. And uh, we're just starting off with this one terminal on its own because apparently the compilation videos don't include this one for some reason. I'm not sure why that is but uh, I've been told this is the first one and uh, yeah we'll start with this and then jump to a different video with all the rest. Let's go. Location unknown. It is where you said it would be. No, into your go. Nikokoregete, war runner, ninety one. Rigachita, what mail is on? Requiem, can no real no mail. Ah, right, so this is the leader of the Covenant Splinter Group, right? Three years later, okay. Human ship, is that going to be chiefs? <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. There we go. Okay, that's the... Uh... That's the opening terminal. So I, <laughs> the uh, the Covenant had been stationed outside Requiem for three years and couldn't get in. And uh, then the Chief turns up, it immediately scans him and planet opens. That's quite funny. Alrighty, let us jump to the rest of the terminals. I will see you in a moment. Okay, here we are with the rest of the Halo 4 terminals, the bulk of them. Let's have a look-see at what they have in store. What kind of ship is that? Uh. Our enemies move deeper into our territory with abandon. Oh, forerunner they ship. must be eradicated. Shall we take revenge? Abandon the mantle and all that its philosophy has given us these thousand generations. All our plans have been torn asunder. More reason not to abandon our beliefs. The mantle is our guidepost in times such as these. We must not falter in following its teaching. Is that the didact? The enemy must be sent home and taught to stand with the galaxy rather than rail against us and take what they desire. The mantle shelters all. Different look for him. Didact, you make a fair, if uncomfortable, point. Who's this? You have my support. Librarian, will you likewise follow the mantle as the Didax suggests? Yes, Master Builder. Master Builder. You're not angry at me. We had this discussion a century ago. Oh, just a oh. century. So you are angry at me? In the chambers, yes. But not now. You'll depart for Requiem soon? At dawn. My Prometheans are already there. Already there? You knew the Master Builder would side with you. Should we step back inside the Council Chamber? No. I would rather we spend our night out here. There will be fighting enough in the days ahead. It's just curious seeing him not being a psychopathic person. My love, put fear from your heart. War is your realm, Didact, not mine. And you march to this war, facing foes that, while always aggressive, were never so aggressive as they are now. Your fears are unfounded. The enemy will be turned. And I shall stand by your side once more. Yeah, you promise wish. You that. I promise you. Oof. Don't Nothing make a girl a promise. Between us. Lord. 
Board of Admirals. We are in position over the Forerunner planet. Show me. Population numbering over 2 billion. Forerunner ships on alert and inbound. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Damn it! My lord, the infestation is in a remote locale. Perhaps if we warn the Forerunners? If, if we warn them, we give the Flood time to spread. Hmm. You know we have no choice. They were trying to do the Cleanse right thing, the, the ancient humans. Yikes. <laughs> Fly the Forerunners wouldn't know. That that's what the humans were doing, so they'd think that the humans were just the humans actions recklessly the attacking galaxy, them. Yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space-bearing race to this? <laughs> they are closer now to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. The humans were not meant to protect others. The mantle of responsibility for all things is ours, and ours alone. He's feeling very protective of that. <laughs> yes, the mantle is ours. And we hold it so tight that even in death we shall hold it still. <laughs> Uh-oh. The floods are coming. Oh, cool. Like, Forerunner soldiers? Oh. Always good to see the old flood. Lord of Admirals. So very many years have we battled. Finest opponents. The mantle accepts all who live fiercely, who defend their young, build, and struggle. All of them grow. Damn, that was a cool shot. And even those who dominate, as humans have dominated, cruelly and without wisdom. enemy, killer of our children, lord of admirals. Soon we will face the enemy you have faced. And we are afraid. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good line. My life workers are investigating. I believe the humans were never attacking us. Tell that to the millions of dead. The humans were acting as caretakers, pruning away planets so that this infection would not spread. They took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves, and in so doing, they brought this sickness to our shores. It was already at your shores. We were trying to fucking save you. Husband. Hmm. Interesting. That seemed like a rift was growing Flood between them. Cover more of our galaxy with each passing day. They feast on the essence of life itself. Is that the master builder again? The only way to stop their advance is to remove that life upon which they feast. My life workers have made plans for the receding of humanity 
and of all life after the Halos are fired. So you agree the Halos are our only solution? I do. And your husband? He doesn't. My <laughs> husband has a different opinion of what steps to take against the flood. So, were these three at the top of the Forerunner hierarchy? The Didact, the Librarian, and then this dude that we've never heard of before, the Master Builder? Did it work? Run the simulation. That's a no. The procedure is a failure. I'm still susceptible to flood infection. Alright, levitating over there? That leaves only the composer. It will not work on my new form. Then you will lead What's us. What's he done to himself? Oaks. His head looks all different. You would submit to such sacrifice. Didact, if the composer is our final hope to defeat the flood, no Promethean would resist. It looks like he's gouged out part of his own head and he said the procedure didn't work. My Promethean. He's still vulnerable For to the infection. So this years. that was before trying the composer. And so that's some other procedure he tried? Rise! Rise! And protect the Forerunners! Rise! And protect the galaxy! So those were his... The original Prometheans were already his soldiers. And then they digitized themselves to better combat the flood. <laughs> oh, burrowing in. Yikes. The flood is still too strong. Perhaps if I had greater numbers. Your kind brought the flood to our shores. Now you will aid in ending its threat. Ah, uh, this is what we heard about in that in that librarian conversation. When he harvested Don't everyone. Oof. I ensured they would rise once more, better than before. Your pets have a nobler purpose ahead of them. You do not face me in person after your deceit. I have an army to build from the raw materials harvested this day. The citizens of this halo are my first conscripts, and with them in my thrall. Oh the wait, flood so will meet its defeat. The humans were living on the halo? Humanity's the loss humans? of biological form will serve as final payment for their crimes. It is a kindness they do not deserve. What will be done? Move the other humans to safety. Ensure the security of their index samples. They must finish what we have failed to do. Librarian, where are you going? To stop my husband's madness. My dear husband, I know your crimes, and I have found forgiveness. I know your reasons. I understand them. I know you. Perhaps better than you could ever. Uh -oh. I ask you, forgive my transgressions. Got him. Like yourself, all I have done. I have done for the greater good. Our time as the galaxy's caretakers is past. The flood have overrun us. In the days to come, the halo rings will fire, eradicating the flood and all other life for a time. 
I have worked hard to index all species in known space. When the time comes, these indexes will open, and once more the galaxy will breathe and grow. Blood will pump. Life will claw its way out of the oceans and through the mud. Babes will be born and grow old under the warmth of a thousand suns. Civilizations will rise in our stead, and our job as caretakers will at last bear fruit. Until then, I leave you here, my love. The only living thing in this galaxy, sealed safely away. Spend these ages ahead of you in meditation on your choices. When you wake, you will find the humans. I have ensured that they will grow strong and vibrant. They will be our rightful heirs. Their gene plan dictates that the galaxy will be theirs to care for by then. I beg of you, find the strength to help them learn from our mistakes. And my husband, let them teach you as well. Please. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what these symbols mean, but I assume nothing because that's uh, one second off the video ending and I don't want to see whatever recommended videos may come up. Uh, that last one was very 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 good i mean they were all very very good but that last one especially was most excellent and so she locked him up there and then i guess she left before requiem like closed up and then headed back to earth and then that's when she was talking to the other didact i can't remember which one's iso and which ones are but i guess it doesn't particularly matter and that's when she was talking to the the good didact as it were uh, about him firing the rings and stuff, perhaps? Not sure. Not sure on the exact timeline of that. But, uh, yeah, that was really interesting. So, yeah, the humans were... They were running from the flood, but also trying to stop it from spreading by just taking them out wherever they were, no matter the collateral damage, because, like, as they said, they didn't have time to warn the Forerunners to, like, evacuate, because, A... That would give the flood time to spread naturally, and B, maybe someone would take spores with them. Who knows? And so they were trying to do, they were trying to have the mantle of responsibility, which is what the Forerunners had. I mean, it's just, it's just like a concept, right? It's not like an actual thing. So the Forerunners believe that they are the most powerful, the best placed to safeguard the galaxy, and the humans were trying to safeguard the galaxy in their own way, and the, and the Didact was like, Fuck you, nobody safeguards this galaxy but me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they somehow t made them go back to being, like, primitive beings from spacefaring people back to just, like, <laughs> living in little straw huts. Although that was actually living on the Halo ring, which is interesting. Uh, and then he harvested them all. Not sure what he did to his face. He was he's some procedure. He was trying to make himself immune to flood infection, trying to find a way to stay organic but also not be at risk i guess and it didn't work which led to the composer uh composed his own soldiers first and then moved on to trying to create a bigger army with the human population and uh none of it worked obviously long term the flood was still expanding and going to win so they had to resort to the rings which the didact still wasn't a fan of but the master builder who i have <laughs> don't think we've ever heard of before uh, and the librarian were in agreement, and uh, they sorted it all out. She locked him up and uh, said, Au revoir, see you in, like, 100,000 years, or however <laughs> however many it was. So, uh, yeah. You can see why he might be a little bit pissed when he woke up from that nap. Uh, and be bearing a bit of a grudge against the humans and Earth. Uh, yeah, and he probably... He, he, because when he woke up, he said, if you have not mastered these primitives, man has not yet attained the mantle. So he was like, he's 
He's still thinking that this is what really matters is that I am the one to safeguard the galaxy and we prevent the humans from being better than I am kind of thing. So he was pretty pretty much a nut job by that point. That much uh that much time in isolation, I guess, could send could send anyone a little bit loopy. But uh yeah, those were great. Those were very good. That was a proper in-depth look at the forerunners, which We'd previously, you know, had glimpses of here and there. Obviously, we had the librarian cutscene in this game. We had the Halo 3 terminals. But that was that was by far the biggest look at Forerunner culture and just, like, the goings-on that were happening. And, uh, yeah, loved it. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Okay, well, there is a second bonus video still to come tomorrow where we will be watching through the Spartan Ops uh, sort of side story thing which apparently is pretty good uh it's pretty long as well but uh yes that will be what is coming tomorrow and then the day after we'll be starting halo 5 exciting stuff thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already share the videos around share the playlist around if you can i would really appreciate that and i will see you next time for spartan ops thanks for watching see you then